records on Wall Street again today to start the new week. And all markets in North America very likely looking at gains in the month of August with one trading day to go. Now, the Nasdaq likely to be the big winner, higher by about 4 percent. The S&P potentially looking at a seventh straight monthly gain. And the TSX looking at a gain in August of more than 1 percent. Now, oil is likely to be volatile all week. U.S. offshore oil producers and refiners now assessing the damage from Hurricane Ida with roughly 1.7 billion barrels a day in production shut down ahead of the storm. We are also hearing that OPEC Plus is going to keep its policy unchanged at a meeting on Wednesday despite the White House asking for an increase in production to help cool gas prices. Wendy's is changing its fries for a very interesting reason. The chain is acknowledging that more people are using drive throughs and delivery services, so often the fries will sit before they are eaten. So, the hot and crispy fry is rolling out in the U.S. with plans to bring it to Canada in October. Now, the fries are cut and coated with a whisper of batter to hold up to a 15 to 20 minute gap between purchase and consumption. And a big drop in consumer confidence in Canada, and this is very likely to be on the radar of the federal leaders with the election set for next month. It's the sharpest one-week decline in confidence since April of 2020 at the depths of the pandemic last year. The Bloomberg Nanos Canadian Confidence Index, which is a measure of sentiment based on household polling, fell by 1.6 points to 62.6 last week, down almost four points since hitting a record high in July. Now, the weakening sentiment among households could undermine what had been a big advantage for Liberal leader Justin Trudeau heading into the September 20th election. Now, at the same time, the confidence index is about 10 percent above its historical average, but it is trending in the wrong direction, potentially reflecting growing worries about the Delta variant. In the 680 Business Centre, I'm Chris McCusker.